Hello, this is your evil twin, welcoming you back to Let's Play Singularity. Last time we dropped into the sewer full of phase ticks. And escaping from the sewer may actually be the toughest part of the entire game. Ah! Look at my health, I'm nearly dead already. What is it with sci-fi shooters and swarms of annoying enemies? Half-Life had its head crabs and snarks, and then Halo had the flood, and Singularity has the phase ticks. Now these orange pustules all over the place will actually release a phase tick if you damage them. Interestingly, you can actually grab a phase tick with your gravity power. Now, in theory, you can use that to uh, attack human soldiers with a phase tick. But in reality, what ends up happening is that you accidentally grab a phase tick when you're trying to grab some health or ammo. <laughs> so, just yet another way that phase ticks are dicks. I'm using my aging powers to safely get rid of these pustules without releasing phase ticks. Ah, that's not a real one. I guess it's not ripe yet. Not strictly necessary, it's just I don't want to accidentally shoot them. Here they come! Aging a phase tick will make other phase ticks attack it. And vice versa, they'll all uh, go to war against each other. Phase ticks live on E99 energy. Use your aging power on a phase tick, you infuse it with so much E99, it becomes an um, irresistible, delicious treat for all the other phase ticks. As you can see, deadlock is ideal for keeping the phase ticks off your case. Though it does also make your bullets travel slowly. Phew, that, that went rather well. I think when I first played Singularity, it took me about half an hour to get out of this room. <laughs> and that was on normal difficulty, let alone hard mode, which I'm playing in now. Yep, ultimate dick move! More come at you from the front, and more come at you from behind! So yes, you can just be dealing with the... Uh, oh! Oh! Accidentally must have burst a pustule somewhere. Uh, yeah, you can be just heading down the corridor fighting the phase ticks coming towards you, and then just suddenly die, unexpectedly, as phase ticks have snuck up from behind as well. Oh. I... I thought there was going to be more. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. Oh, there we go. Now we go. Yes, fight each other. <laughs> now, it's funny to think that technically this is a sewer section, but it's a lot more colourful and interesting sewers in most video games. Well, or in real life for that matter. Yes! Finally, a checkpoint. The game is saved. It still lives after all this time. Damn it. A general evacuation has been 
ordered, but I can't leave until I've investigated the disturbance near the sewers. I'll give it a quick look, but I won't stay one second longer than necessary. There's too many bizarre things happening. The island's gone mad. Oh, why? Why would you do that? You just said a general evacuation's been called. <laughs> why would you feel the need to check out a disturbance in the sewer? It's not your problem anymore! Well, he was a good patriot. It can smell you. Nice. Revealed a little bit of E99 tech. Design this section really is a tick. <laughs> it lives. I am here. That's not a very helpful map. It's all well and good where you are, but where am I? Sounds like Katorka 12 has got a Godzilla problem. Wah! So I don't think there's <laughs> any particular strategy to how you deal with this. This isn't the tentacle monster from Half-Life that's blind and only hears you, only senses your vibrations, and you just quietly crawl along, whatever. Uh, this monster smells you, so i um, just got to leg it. Okay, I think we're safe in here. Or not! Attacked the tower. Catherine distracted them while I headed here. That was a very close call. Come up here. We have much to discuss. Well, that was a close one. Not only did we survive being chucked around by the monster, we also uh, nearly got hit by this uh, train being thrown at us. Yeah. Yeah, Barasov mentions that uh, his tower was attacked, so uh, he's had to abandon it. In uh, Earlier in the game's development, uh, Barasov's tower was going to be a sort of hub area that you would return to uh, between missions. 
but uh, they decided to uh, abandon that. They didn't want you uh, backtracking to the same area. atmosphere in this part. And by atmosphere I don't mean the air quality. I imagine it's not very healthy. Lots of uh, leaking E99 canisters everywhere. This is nice detail to justify having some health items in here. Uh, this guy was carrying a health pack and syringe, crawling through the vents when it caved in. I actually think this corpse is a Zek, though uh, it's so low poly and so low, low resolution textured that I uh, can't really tell. Easily doubles as any other corpse. simple case of using a deadlock time bubble to stop the pan. There's so much, so much moisture, steam, and the fans blowing the steam about the place. gas rising from this pool of E99 goo. A lot of um, detail put into everything. Stamina! Increases your sprint duration. Not particularly useful. Then again, you can only sprint a very short distance. Ah, remember Dr. Corkin is working on the teleportation experiments? Yes, that was him. Uh, that was a, a note about him uh, requesting some help with his experiments. Alas, that helper ended up becoming some strange murderous teleporting ghost. <laughs> Medic increases health pack effectiveness. Probably not needed if you're playing in normal difficulty, but we're playing in hard mode, so this will be quite useful. Over here, we need to talk. Time is of the essence, Captain. 
Demichev's new Strostaita. He could capture you very soon. Take that rail. It leads to the docks. Once there, you will recover the E-99 bomb. With it, we can correct the timeline. Captain, the way is blocked. But if you take this ladder down, you should be able to fix the crane. Then I can get you to the other side. Damn it. Demichev knows you're here. Move quickly. Fix that crane so I can get you to the other side. Now we're getting to a really fun and exciting part of the game. We're going to get to fight a whole load of Spetsnaz soldiers, use our deadlock power against them, and we're also going to get our hands on a new weapon. Thanks for watching, and do join me next time.